up, sixth graders? So for the beginning part of success period, um, I want to continue to focus on um, with our geometry and looking at some different figures. Uh, but, we're, you know, instead of looking at area and perimeter, uh, I want to get back into just, you know, plotting some points in a graph and then identifying, okay, what figure we've created. So if I look at our first question, it says, graph the ordered pairs, then connect the points to form a polygon, okay? And so we're going to identify exactly what that means. So we got to connect the points and graph the ordered pairs. So if I look at question one, it says the ordered pairs. It lists four of them below. So my first one is three, nine, okay? So i got to identify, okay, what's my x-coordinate? What's my y-coordinate? I recognize that my x-coordinate is the first one, which gives me a three. And if I look at my nine, that represents my, my, uh, my y-coordinate. So let's go ahead and put that on our coordinate grid. In order to do so, I always start right here at the origin. And then I identify, okay, am I going to go to the left or to the right first? Well, since I have a positive 3, that tells me I'm going to move to the right. One, two, three places. Now, I don't put a mark there yet until after I also plot my y-coordinate. So my y-coordinate represents a 9. It's a positive 9, so that tells me I'm going to move up along my y-axis 9 spaces. So the first point, they already have graph for us. So I can check that one off our list. Our next order pair is 9, 9. So I know my x-coordinate. I'm going to go to the right 9 places since it's positive. And then my y coordinate's also a 9, so I'm going to go up once again along the y axis, 9 places. All right, so I got two of the four plotted on our grid. Our next order pair, I have 1, 2. So once again, I start at my origin, I go to the right 1 place, and then I go along my y axis, 2 places. Check that one off. And then our last one is the order pair 7, 2. So I move to the right 7 places because it's positive and then up two places. So we've done the first part of our question, which is graphing the order pairs. Then we have to connect the points in order to form our polygon. So I'm going to do this in the order in which we created them. All right. And then so what polygon did we draw here? If I look at our image right now, I notice that all the opposite sides are parallel to one another. That tells me if I were to extend these lines on forever, they would never touch. So the polygon we drew is a parallelogram. Okay. All right, let's look at one more question. So I'm looking at question two, and it gives us the ordered pair. So once again, except this time they're only giving me three. Okay, and I see we have some negatives involved. So let's look at our first one. I understand... The first ones are x, our second ones are y. So I have the ordered pair negative 6, negative 2. So I start here at my origin. I move to the left six spaces, okay, along the x-axis, and then the negative 2 tells me I'm going to move down two spaces along the y-axis. So there's my first point. And I see I have the next ordered pair, negative 8, negative 7. So I move to the left eight spaces, and then I'm going to move down seven spaces. The reason I know I'm working this is because I'm working with two negative numbers. All right, and then it looks like our last one is negative three, negative seven. So I move to the left three spaces and then down seven spaces. And then finally got to connect all our points. All right, so then back to our question, what polygon did you draw? That's simple. We drew a triangle. All right, remember, continue with all these questions. If you have um, or you get stuck on anything, please just raise your hand.